Hey everybody, welcome back to He Hunt She Cooks. Today we're going to be working on the blackberry shallot reduction for our amazing venison rack. Okay, I've already been uh, cutting up some of my shallots. I've got about five or six of them in here. You know, you don't have to cut them up really evenly because they're going to be caramelized and then they're going to be strained through the sauce. I'm just going to finish up the last one. We're going to add about two cloves of garlic. We're going to smash in here. Ah, oh, sometimes these are tough, you know. Let's peel them. I'm going to throw a little bit of butter in our pan. Got the pan preheated. About a tablespoon or two will work. Don't you love that sizzle? Shells go in. And we're just going to stir them around a little bit, get some of that butter coating the shallots. Wish you had smell of vision. This has smells so good. Okay. We're going to add just a little bit of sugar. Just going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of it around. A little bit of black pepper. And then just a little bit more salt. These look great. I think these are just about ready to go into the oven. I got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. In the oven. All I have to do is add just a touch of uh, veal stock, just um, about a quarter cup. Okay, Mix this around a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. In the oven it goes, and it's going to do all the work. Now I got the oven set to about 350 degrees. Leave that in for about a half hour. Check them in a half hour and they're still not quite caramelized enough. Leave them in for another 15 minutes. Okay, now what we're gonna work on is the rest of the reduction. I'm gonna add uh, about a teaspoon of allspice berries. I like that spicy flavor. Um, some black peppercorns. You know, just eyeball it about a tablespoon's worth. Just a little pinch of salt. You don't need too much salt. And then I love this, juniper berries. Juniper berries are one of the best things for wild game. I don't know what it is about them, but the flavor just really brings that all out. Now don't worry about the fact that they're kind of chunky because this is all gonna be strained out in the sauce. Add about a cup of reduced veal stock. Okay. And a cup of ruby pork. Again, just eyeball it. I never measure, it takes too much time. A little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon, about a half cup to three quarters more thing, two more things. Bay leaf, a little bit of fresh thyme. And that's it, we're gonna leave this reduced by half. It's gonna take somewhere around half hour to an hour. And then once it's all done, we can put it in the fridge and then the next day, we're gonna be able to see our meat and we'll be done, ready to go. All right, you guys, this is reduced. Took about 45 minutes. Let's go check and see if the shallots are done. Oh yeah, these are amazing. Got these shallots now, we're gonna pour the reduction right in top. So what we want to do is we want to reduce it to it's almost of a syrupy consistency. Now, let's strain it over. Be careful when you do this. I don't want to burn yourself because I have done it. Just gonna press it just a little bit. You don't want to press it too much because you don't want to muddy the sauce. That's what we call it in chef world. This sauce is ready to go for tomorrow when Danny gets home. All I'm going to have to do is saute some blackberries, pour it all over, and we're good to go. That's it. Now, I like to use a little bit of kosher salt. Um, you know, you don't need a lot of it, just, uh, just enough just to get that nice little bit of a salty flavor to it. Um, let's see, just a little sprinkling of it because we also salted it last night. I always like to salt my meat 24 hours ahead. Put it in the refrigerator because the salt really does a, a great job. Now let's do a little bit of pepper. Need some fresh black pepper. Uh, put a little oil in my pan. I've already got my pan heated up. We are going to sear it. I just love that sound. Okay, we're going to turn it over. It gets beautiful crust on there. I love it. An amazing, amazing golden brown color. Okay, you guys, now that it's seared, all we have to do is throw it in the oven and let it do its thing. Now my oven preheated to 375 degrees. And you know, I like my, my medium rare or rare. And so I don't think it's gonna take more than maybe eight or so minutes. Okay, I got my side dishes ready to go. The meat is done. Let's pull it out. OK. 
Okay. Okay, good. We're gonna let that, let that rest for, I don't know, a couple of minutes while I finish up the Okay, a couple tablespoons of butter. Fresh blackberries. I love that sound. We're just gonna saute these a little bit. Okay, looks like it's ready to pour the reduction that we worked on yesterday. Pour that in. I'm going to turn up my heat and we're just going to let this really uh, get caramelized and syrupy and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, sauce is done, side dishes are hot, meat is ready, let's go carb. Nice pink, right? Okay, we're just going to plate it up. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Right in the center. Mashed potatoes. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. Oh, those are so beautiful. I like when I get to use fresh berries in the summertime. But you know, you could use uh, dried fruit as well. You can use dried cranberries, you can use dried cherries. But when they're in season, blackberries, blueberries, they're the best. All right, there we go. We're ready to plate them. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Pretty good, huh? Good choice. All right, let's try this one. This All one. right, tell me what you think. All right. Looks really good. Smells good. Tender. Mmm. Really tender. I love. Oh yeah. I love the blackberries. This is good. Really good. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm sure you'll like this recipe, so feel free to give it a try at home. And we'll see you here next time on He Hunts, She Cooks. This is good. All right. All right. So